Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is. Don't worry, I try to jam pack my videos with as much content and as much detail as I possibly can. Anything I feel I can comment on and that I feel you might be interested in, I pretty much put in the video. I try not to repeat myself and talk fairly fast. I either have or will cover other parts of this franchise and this video either is or will be linked below. I'm not going to restate here what I did or will say in the other video. These videos get long enough as it is. I got this either as present or I got it on discount, so I did not pay very much money for this and am thus not bitter on account of that. Earthworm Jim to game thoughts. Thoughts. Note that I have not watched the show. I, I watch very little animation. I, if I'm going to take in something animated, it's probably going to be a video game. I stand by what I said in the review, but I will admit I came off harsher than I mean it, or at least the, the way I think of it today. I do greatly enjoy playing both of these first two games. I haven't played any other, or at least not very much of any other. Now, a lot of what I speak about negatively, negatively about is obviously intentionally weird, goofy, unrealistic, nonsensical, etc. I was in a bad groove back then and treated everything I reviewed as though it has to be a certain way regardless of quote-unquote author intent. I do stand by the objective criticisms and I, do, I very much doubt I'll do another regular review of it since I'd be saying the same things just in a different tone. I will say that the sluggish controls and possibly some graphical glitches and audio re repetition and such may be due to me playing it on a PC today so many years after it came out. It's just that the first game doesn't have those problems. It has some other problems. Really, when, when I play these two, when I play the first one, I have to do without the, the audio but the music plays just fine, although it starts over every time I pause it to, you know, to do a note for one of these videos. When I play the second one, the, the sound effects work, but I have to play the music via the YouTube, you know. Thankfully, a lot of, you know, yeah, probably all of them, for seemingly all the versions, you know, PlayStation, Genesis, yeah. And yeah, I do prefer playing Earthworm Jim 1. Now, the first one has 19 levels total, 7 are anti asteroids, 3 are not a problem. That leaves 9 main levels that aren't repeats in 8 different locations since down the tubes and tube rays are in the same as each other. I realize that I'm now restating, but just. Yeah, what I'm about to say is. is easier to take in if I. Now that I restated. Now, Earthworm Jim 2 has 11 levels total, 3 are puppy love, that leaves 8 main levels that aren't repeats in 8 different locations. And so, so yeah, you know, it's, it's nowhere near as bad as I made it sound in the. Let's see. And. Yeah, just to state it here so that you don't have to look through the time codes for it. I've, I actually realized looking it up this time that some versions have levels that my version doesn't and vice versa. Let me just put my sound silent while I remember it before. 
anything yeah now again I have the PC version which has the levels anything but tangerines, villi people, flying king, early abducted, inflated head, ISO 9000, level 8 and see Jim run, run Jim run now length now the first one you know on on different plays has taken me an hour and 42 minutes an hour and 35 minutes an hour and 31 minutes oh yeah and one of an hour and 49 minutes so yeah you know, that gives you an idea and last time I played this one it took me an hour and 19 and a half minutes this time it took me an hour one minute or yeah an hour and two minutes so yeah, you know, f for this time at least, you know, yeah, I, I said in the review it's much shorter than the first game. While it is only half an hour, that is still a third of, yeah, so that is now. Yeah, since this is just thoughts, you know, this these are all going to be level notes. Anything but tangerines. Now, let's see. I love those flying thingies with shotguns. And you have the snot swing. And again, I haven't watched the show. I guess Jim and Snot from Snot a Prop. Or wait, was that Major Mucus? Anyway, yeah. If it was, if it is the same, you know, I guess they became friends after the first game. And, you know, in the original game you launch a cow, here you carry pigs and, though not in this level, cows. Look at that one pig, so terrified, it's hidden in the mud, all you can see, surrounded by blackness of its eyes, and they move around trying to gauge the danger, it's all anxious. And the pigs help you bypass the fish bowls. And you know, one of them you launch a pig into, the other you're weighing down the lifting thingy. Love granny chair, both you know, bonus and otherwise. Fresh, and she smacks you repeatedly over the head with her umbrella. And I just I love how nonsensical it is that there are grannies falling. Meanwhile, her reaction to landing on Jim's lap is completely natural. And, you know, suddenly there's just this inside of a house briefly with a chair that gradually moves up where you can slow down, speed it up, or leave it at its usual speed. And if you use the snot shoot, you can get the extra life without having to do the whole bonus area again. And, it, which is obvious, you know, that's the point of the bonus area. You have to get the, the life, and the, the extra life. And, yeah, if, if you don't know how to use the... the it's not shoot at that point yeah you're gonna have to do the whole bonus area again for that extra life and you know more of the giant cats that help out Bob the killer goldfish and they still punch you so hard it pushes you back so you can't just walk past them now you have to tail whip heavy objects onto them and they'll literally bowl with the fish bowl oh, look at the effort he puts into the bowling Real pro, you know, correct posture and everything. You're hopping waterfalls, and at the end of the level, you seem like you're gonna have a fight. You know, Bob the Killer Goldfish. You're, yeah, you seem you're, like you're going to have to fight Bob the Killer Goldfish. Mortal Kombat announcer going, fight! And of course, Jim just easily grabs Bob, stuffs him in his mouth, and eats him. And to move on to the next level, you throw an anvil onto the other end of a seesaw. That's, yeah, I mean, you know, anti-asteroids, there are definitely some silly aspects to it, but at least you are moving through space, going from between these planets. In this one, nope, you're just, you're using a seesaw to, yeah, that's deliciously nonsensical. Puppy love one. Now, I describe a lot about this level in the review. So, again, not going to be saying much in these. 
I love that you're what you're running around with is a giant marshmallow. You know, everybody knows that those are like real malleable and yeah. And you know, you have to go three rounds. I appreciate that though it starts like it doesn't stay that easy for long. It would get really boring on replays if it did. You know, really the the it starts at a very easy level basically to train the player and what's how this is going to work you know as I say in the in the review this might have been the first time you had this kind of like mini game and yeah you know back then players would need to be to get just a brief little I mean you know I don't have um, a manual for this but I can imagine that the, the manual probably gives a basic description of how this is supposed to work. Meanwhile, it's one thing to read about it, but actually doing, yeah, it's, it's completely, you, you need to be, to, to briefly get instructions that, you know, interactive instructions, you might say. And again, it doesn't stay that easy. And, you know, in addition to walking side to side, you can swap sides and leap and both come in really handy and psycho feathers fly out from the house he's in when he explodes and I appreciate that you don't get attacked by Pete until everything being thrown has landed or been caught so that you don't lose a bomb thrown if you drop the puppies partway through a wave of things being tossed Lily people pinball machine thingies. Now, I took the hard paths and had nine worms for the game show, and I I didn't note it at the time because I can't pause it when I alt tab out for notes. I'm like, the first one, I think I got three answers wrong, the rest of them I got right. I love some of these so obviously wrong answers and the super weird question. Like, some of them is just, okay, that, that can't possibly be one of those. And then some of them are like, you know, how are you doing? And like, you know, I think one of them is like, is it maybe French or something like some foreign language? And just, yeah. And, and yeah, and I think one of them is like, may I please be excused to go to the bathroom? That's a quiz and, and, and quiz. It's a quiz answer. It's a quiz question. And, you know, a game of Simon and Jim tears off the salamander form like it was a full body costume and he clearly couldn't have fit inside the have fit the, the suit inside the salamander. You know, Jim himself could fit in there. You know, and the, again, they could easily have done that. Like he just you know the the salamander skin slips off and it was like it's one of those things where you put on like a suit and it's it makes you look bigger than you are but it still fits fits very nicely on you know yeah everybody's everybody knows what I'm talking about here and then like Jim you know I don't know whistles for it and the the suit comes walking in or something nope they went with the complete nonsense of tearing off the suit and then standing there as if, I don't know maybe he's been holding his breath the entire time just love it Lion King, which is of course like Lion King. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm gonna. Yeah, I guess just briefly, the the puppy love is you know usually when you say oh that's puppy love that's like you know two like teenagers falling in love or something, and it's like you know that's the first time they fall in love, so it's like super they're so in love, but. Really, it's, you know, it's either Jim's love or Pete's love of the puppies that Psycho is throwing. And, you know, the if it's Jim's love of these puppies, it's also his love of not being, you know, chewed up and spat out by Petey. And if it's Petey's love, you know, those might literally be, like, his relatives or something. So, yeah. Now, the flying key. You know, you've got the catapults that launch people onto your jet engine. And you have to shake, shake, shake them off by switching sides a bunch of times quickly. 
and pirate ships and those weird spaceship things that spit green goop at you. And, you know, the rockets really help a lot in getting through the, you know, including the ones that take you back if the bomb blew up too early. I didn't lose it this time, I will admit, on other plays I had. Maybe that's why it took 20 minutes longer to, you know, maybe I kept messing stuff up or something. And I like that you can shoot the pirate ships and spaceships, but that your machine gun will also blow up the bomb if you aren't careful. And at the end of the level, you blow up the platform Major Mucus is standing on, and he falls Looney Tunes style. And also that that's like, you know, you realize, okay, I got, I'm going to need to use a bomb. I guess I'm going to be blowing up the bag. I know, just blowing up the platform that he was standing on. And he falls, and that, yeah. And the bomb is like a hot air balloon, literally has boom written on it. And there's a wooden barrel with an already lit fuse. Just complete cartoon bomb logic, you know. Puppy love too. And yeah, just briefly, you know, the layers of clouds and the 3D effect when you move side to side are very nicely done. Utterly abducted. Which is, of course, you know, spelled utter like the cow's utter. Yeah. And the cow comes out of a plant. It looks so suspicious. Like, it's, I mean, it knows that there are UFOs out there. And it's like, any minute now, I'm going to be, you know, taking it. And, and the UFO has a cow color scheme. <laughs> you know, almost as if it's like a, a, you know, like a camouflage thing. But, you know, oh, it's going to be hiding near cows. So... How, how are we going to hide a giant UFO near a cow? I know, we'll paint it white and black. They'll never know. And the electric chair. And the coffin that gets, like, several sharp weapons thrown through it. And I quite like that in this, you can pick up more ammo for any weapon with the ammo pickup. Where in the first one... Yeah, ammo is completely specific, as is the case in most games where you pick up ammo. And you have to dunk the cow to put out the fuse, and you shoot a cow, you shoot, yeah, one of the cows via a cannon, and just when you slip it in there, like, you know, it's got like the, the what do you call those on a, on a cow? They're not, they're not paws that... Yeah, yeah, I think you know what I mean. You know, it has them like almost like a puppy, and like the tongue is hanging out, and it just slips in. It just, you know, it it doesn't like just standing around. That makes it suspicious. But man, it just goes for it when it's going to be shot out of a can. Inflated head. Evil the cat never popped my head, and I got eight worms, but. I, would, I didn't get a lot of interesting stuff with the boxing glove. I mean, some of these, it's also that, you know, these are things that are especially useful if you play through the entire game in one sitting, and I didn't. I, there's one time when I played two levels in a row. The rest of them, that's, a, you know, the, the, it says password in the menu, but it's not a password system as such. It's that you have to get, I think it's three items. It's been forever since I did it. Because I just, I have the game installed on my hard drive always. It's been years since I started this without having gotten anything in, you know, it's been several computers since because I have the save files, you know, so yeah. The, the, yeah, you know, it says password. In reality, you have to go around the level getting these three specific objects and then you can skip the level from the menu and one of the levels I haven't gotten one I should probably have written down which in these notes but I don't actually yeah I think it is it's maybe I think it's utterly abducted actually one second it is not utterly abducted oh wait so yes it's utterly abducted so I had to complete early abducted and inflated head in the same sitting. Other than that, it was one level per sitting and one sitting per day and not every day at that. So, yeah, obviously picking up more lives isn't going to be, you know, particularly 
interesting to me. You know, if if it was like ammo and it happened early in a level, that would be useful. But uh, yeah, you know, I don't die much in these playthroughs. ISO 9000, which according to Wikipedia is like some like a uh, system of organizing thing. You know, you know you pick up a mouse cage and it runs the machine that's the yeah and the noises it makes as you move through it are so funny just complete cartoon yeah i i really i love that kind of i mean yeah just you're you're going to get me every time if you do a good job of building of you know a series of events from just cartoon sound effects like that and you do have to put in effort, but yeah. And you're attacked by file cabinets that only let up when you rustle up papers that land in them. You know, that's that's literally the one thing. These, these you know, filing cabinets. And it's also just like, like, they're not like attacking you because you... Actually, I guess maybe it's because you don't belong in this system of carefully organized stuff. You know, but yeah. The one way to actually deal with them is to rustle up some papers that immediately they freeze in place and open up a drawer so that the the paper gets properly organized that's yeah and and it's also a pretty decent mechanic game mechanic you know puppy love 3 I greatly appreciate that these come in waves, so you get a few seconds to relax between them, especially by the third one where a wave is big. Level 8. Now, I forget if I did say this in the review, but I might have. Where, you know, I appreciate it. I think it's, I said it in the video on the first game, where you know, one of those is just level 5, and in this the eighth level is called level eight, but spelled A-T-E. So, you know, past tense of, you know, eating, have, having eaten. And the level is entirely based around food. That's, that's really great. Now, you know, there's, since I can't pause, there's no safe place in this level. All notes written from memory right after completing the level. I love that you're running on bacon and salami and, you know, straws shooting, I don't know, toothpicks at you? Or maybe they're like, yeah, there's some kind of food thing, definitely. And you're, you know, you're avoiding touching forks and you're attacked by salt shakers and you can lure them away with snails whose mortal enemy is salt. And, you know, you jump onto meatballs and... You know, you have the, the eggs, like, I, I don't know, and, it, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, scrambled eggs, I don't know what they're called in English, I don't, it's been literally decades since I've had to order food in English that included eggs that were done, but, yeah, you know, you, yeah, some of them are like scrambled eggs, and they're all drippy. The the I think it's especially the the what do you call that? The yeah, the the yellow part of the of the egg, you know. And you have to shoot eggs open, cracking them as it were, to be able to run across what I guess are hot plates. And you know, you reach the boss, and I'll admit, for a while, I didn't get the pun of the name. Try saying it out loud, you know, filet mignon, like filet mignon. And I don't know that much about food, just that it goes in here, point to mouth. Oh, it goes in here. But I believe that that really is a filet mignon that you're fighting. And it attacks you with a plate which would hurt to be smacked by, and by being incredibly hot, which, again, I, I'm guessing it's served incredibly hot. I don't know. And I think the pizza is hot too. I didn't stand around on it, but oh wait, is it that you kind of sink into it? Yeah, I you know, just by reflex I didn't stand. You know, you you the salami pieces are safe to stand on, but you can't just stand around or it will hit you, you know. 
pretty well designed boss fight. You know, you run back and forth between the salami pieces, don't stand, and most run directly under Flamin. And every several seconds, he'll jump onto the pizza where you can hit him, rinse and repeat. Don't stand where he lands, he'll hurt you, and you may not be able to hurt him before he, bo he goes above again. C Jim, run, run, excuse me. I appreciate that this level literally, like, you know, some, some other, like, level openings are also, like, you know, I think, actually, I forget which, but, yeah, some of them, it, like, says what you're supposed to do, but this level, its title is literally the objective, the instruction that you you get, you know, you're supposed to run. And again, I couldn't make notes while because it doesn't pause and there's no time in this level where you can just be standing still. You know, other than when the ending happens, I'm not gonna alt tab away and miss the, the funny ending. So yeah. Now I died once, but I didn't lose the race even once. They do a fairly good job of the obstacles largely not being frustrating, but taking skill to get past and Again, love that ending scene. But yeah, you know, so from memory, like, again, I literally just like, I don't know, 40 minutes ago, before I set up the camera and before I started recording, which was 26 and a half minutes ago, got done playing this level. So I should be able to remember. You know, it the whole level has this sort of tech like vibe to it. You know, you've got the, the you know, you've got those gray doors that slam down that you have to shoot, and you have that. I don't know what it, but, you know, the one that has, like, all these, you know, flippy things. They flip you back if you touch them and you have to shoot them. And meanwhile, Psycho is all the time running, but on a different, like, plane, like, so, so you can't directly, you can't touch him, you can shoot him, but it's not going to slow him down that much. You can't rely on shooting him to slow him down. You, It can be useful several times, but yeah. And let's see, you know, you've got to be careful to pick up ammo, but not necessarily go for all of the ammo, because some of it will slow you down to pick up. You have to be careful not to get the bubble gun. And let's see, you've got those, like, yeah, mechanical like eggs that flop up and down. You've got the little jump uh, thing, which can be extremely useful if you manage to pick it up. You, you you have to use the snap swing on the thing, but it goes back and forth. So you you know you don't want to be attaching onto it too late because by the time you've swung, it'll be back where you started, and you may actually fall down to your death again. That let's see, how did I die this time? I think. It was it, it was a jump I didn't quite make. I'm not, I don't think it was snot swing, but I don't remember it anymore. But yeah, you know, and at the same time, that also means if you catch it right at the start, it moves you nicely ahead to get, yeah. And I guess that's what there is. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I mentioned the ending, but yes, in the other video. I didn't describe it, at least, I don't think. But yeah, so, you know. Yeah, if you get to Princess What's Her Name first, she doesn't even react. Like, she's still just sitting there looking at her nails, and, you know, I think that's the animation. She looks... Is it in camp? Yeah, here we go. Like, she's looking at her nails over and over, just does not care. You know, she's just sitting there waiting to be rescued. This is old news to her. She's always getting captured, and Jim is always rescuing her. I mean, in the first one, she looked grateful, you know, and then the thing happens, but, you know, actually, did I talk about it in the... Yeah, you know, in the, in the first one, let's see, yeah, if you, pl if you beat it on the hardest difficulty, you get the, you're the best ending, which I love. I just, if you... If you at all can, you know, I, I said this in the thoughts on the, the first one, but if, if at all you can, if, if at all, this is, these are your kind of game. Play the first one, play it all the way through, at least once on hard. You know, after that, if you want to watch it, you know, go ahead, go on YouTube and find it, it's there, but at least once earn it, because it's so funny. And, yeah, you know, the, the medium one is the where, where you run to the edge. The, the, yeah, and the easy one is just, you know, the, the whole worm thing. 
I feel like at least once complete the game on easy, not just because it's easier than the other two, but because that ending is really, really funny. You know, the whole, what a worm, and he's like trying to read it and it goes too fast and he starts, yeah, I, I went into detail on it. I'm almost certain the thoughts on the first one, but yeah, the, the medium one I don't think I covered, where you, you get to the, the thing and she's staying there, she's like looking all alluring, and yeah, and you do the, the, the wolf whistle thing and the, you know, and then the cow lands and like breaks off the tip and she goes into the, the lava below and like Jim just walks off and then later he comes back and picks up her crown, which, yeah. But yeah, so here, you know, yeah, the level ends. Yeah, she's, she's all like, you know, what, whatever. Psycho gets there and then he starts running back and forth. And, you know, Jim does that thing, you know, I need, I need a cab, you know. And the cab falls in from, which, which also, that was also how we got away from, I think, the, the, the salamander level, maybe. But, it, yeah, you know, the, the, yeah, so, so you have the, the whole, yeah, so so it's not the first time you see a cat, but there I think it drove in. But yeah, here it just falls from the sky and just lands on Psycho, crushing him. And yeah, you know, that's again just completely out of nowhere. And like, you have a gun. It, it could easily end with Jim like shooting him and knocking him out. But nope, gotta go for that completely nonsensical, just utter non sequitur of a. But yeah, you know, so. After that, you know, you have the, the screen, you know, having defeated the nefarious Psycho, you know, and yeah, the, the, our hero, Earthworm Jim, has won the affection of Princess What's-Her-Name. I, th I think it's basically the text. And then, you know, Psycho pulls off the disguise and he was a cow the entire time. Again, nonsense. Just makes, and, and completely, like... You know, I mean, it's not the first time someone pulls off a suit, but it's the first time the person in the suit was a cow underneath rather than a major character, and that the the just yeah, it, it there are a million ways it makes no sense. If Psycho was a cow the entire time, and the game makes no indication that that's not the real Psycho, how I mean, the cow has four legs. It doesn't have two arms. For the you know, not not that really a crow with two arms especially makes sense either. But I mean, of course, he can breathe in space. He has the the space. The the I think you know what I'm talking about. You know, the one our astronauts also have. But yeah, you know, and and Jim is like what you know the again big like Tex Avery kind of animation, and then you have. And and then the princess, what's her name, pulls off, and she's a cow too. And you know the text updates, having defeated the nefarious cow, and then, and then Jim pulls it off, and he's a cow too. And suddenly it says cow with all three, and just yeah, that's really funny. And like with the video on the first game, this is really short, but this time I do have a backup plan. And by the time this video is up, you may have already seen that backup plan, and if not, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and say that I intend to, unless anything goes wrong, I intend to now go through, do a video on all the non-thought notes I had on Justice League, when last time I was too tired to say it, so I hope this was fun for you too.